Yeah, quite right. Yeah. 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 We've got a trailer tent over there, Alison. You remember looking at yeah, those at the NEC? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably gets easier, you know, the number of times you do it. Yeah. But... You think putting an awning's up is fun. <laughs> this is the van we, well, the, the manufacturer we saw at. Um, his brain's gone now. Um, Preston Caravans. Just a quick look in here because it's uh, it is sold. This is a land seer. We saw these at Preston Caravans. Yeah, it's very nice inside. Compressor fridge, usual sort of layout here with a pop-top roof. Ford cab. Yeah, very nice. LPG there. Okay. Yeah, so this is an electric vehicle. It's on a Vicenza, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Fifty-six thousand. Uh, various extras, so total 58,440. Electric cables in the front. Obviously zero emissions. Let's have a look. It's unusual to see a Vauxhall motorhome. A quarter potty at the back. Little Russell Hobbs microwave, and it's got an induction hob on there as well. It's interesting. It's like a little fan heater there. Is that a fan heater? Cool box in there. No, oh, it's a, uh, there's a cab seat under there, obviously. You got a little table there. So a tiny little motorhome, but hmm, it's interesting, isn't it? Electric vehicles, electric motorhomes. Pop up roof. Let's have a look, stick my head in here. And the dog. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Up there. Proper sink over there. Looks like there's loads of cupboard space. Yeah. This obviously folds out to make a bed lengthways, I would imagine. Somewhere for your phone. Looks very well equipped. Hmm. I've got some pictures here. I'm testing it on the Shetland Islands. 2,100 miles for just £125. And 550 miles in one day, Aberdeen to Essex. Hmm. Jenny spotted our old motorhome. No, no, it was my yeah. least favourite, I think. It was, it was disappointing. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, I thought, oh, this is really clever. The most disappointing motorhome we ever, ever owned, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a shame because it's quite a nice length. Yeah, yeah nice right. and compact, yeah. Yeah. And it's obviously attracted a lot of attention. Yeah. There was yeah. one here last year and it sold almost immediately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a battery box under the floor here. Look, travel seats. A uh, table here. And you've got a drop down bed. And it's not a bad sized drop down bed. The trouble we had was the drop down bed didn't drop down. First time we took it home. But, yeah. This is on a Peugeot cab. We've got a reversing camera fitted on here, so that's quite nice. And it is in the autograph range, so it was fairly upmarket. There's the little cupboards here, and uh, you see this thing here, that's for the bed mechanism, which is actually in one of these cupboards. 
can't remember which one. Oh, it's actually behind there, I think. Yeah. But yeah, we did like the motorhome itself. Someone's fitted some speakers at the back there. And little cupboards here. Good sized cupboards. TV there. And you had a generous fridge. A manual in energy selection fridge. But nice big cupboards here. And here. And a good work surface. Good deep sink. And a massive drawer here. Thetford duplex oven. Three burner gas. The washroom was the best uh, feature of it. You've got a very nice sized shower here. I'll just shut this cupboard. Bifold doors. The shower worked really well. And you've got space to change in here as well. Plus, big wardrobe. So to store your carpets. Alder heating. Yeah, they were nice. But we really couldn't get on with the drop down bed here. That was the problem with it. I remember these cupboards as well. Unusual because they've got see through glass on them. And they've put a microwave in this one. We didn't have a microwave, they've added one in there. So you do lose a bit of cupboard space. But yeah, six metre motorhome crammed an awful lot in here. Still a feeling of space in here, I think. Yeah. And back rack on the back, and they've got a reversing camera added there. So, yeah. Well, there's another Auto Trail F line here. This is an F74. F is always the forward, in case anyone wonders what the F stands for. So, this is a 21 Ford Automatic 3500. It's quite a long on 7.32 metres, 2.35 metres wide, 2.88 metres tall, and this is 64,995. Hello, they left you all on your own. Oh dear, I haven't got anything. Okay, quite a step up here. It's quite a step. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is a long way up. There's your automatic. Yeah, love an automatic. Okay, a little shelf there, somewhere to store your ladder. Again, your same sort of drop down bed here. Ants have got in here as well. Uh, drop down bed. Nice cupboards here. Oh, blimey, they're everywhere, these ants. Yeah. Yeah. And three burner and a Thetford duplex. I'll get it right in a minute. But the difference with this one, as you can see straight away, is the bed. Now, this must be a pull out bed. I assume you pull that one out. And great big storage under there, which access through a garage at the back. But I would say if that bed stays in place, that's quite easy to walk around so it does give you a lot of space and a bit of a chalon during the day. Wardrobes either side. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting place to store the table. It's certainly out of the way. Again the shower's over a wheel arch. I think that's all right. You can close off the uh, toilet area, but that's way up on genuine like that, way up on a plinth again because of the wheel arch. So there's a lot of motorhomes like that, but you have got somewhere to change. But what I would say is, there's no, it's all right, it's all right, but there's nowhere to shut that off so. Obviously you can close the door on the toilet, but if you want to get changed, a bit of privacy to have a sleeping in there. 
headroom's better in this one, funnily enough. I don't know why. I think that step put me off a bit. That is quite a long way up. But, uh, but strangely, just looking at the cab, and there doesn't seem to be any blinds on the front. They've got blinds on the side. Couldn't see any blinds on the front. Oh well. There's an auto sleeper Kemerton. 19,841. 31,000 miles and it's six metres, so it's actually a bit shorter than... So they're not six metres, this is an like extra long wheelbase, isn't it, surely? Well, I think it's 6.36, but I might, I'm, yours is 6.36. I might be wrong, but... Mmm, the bathroom's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, we had a bench, it's called a bench toilet. We had that in the very first van. Um, a bit more unstable, yeah. Yeah, you've obviously got. Come around here. You've obviously got one travel seat there. Yeah. I don't know if you've got another one. That's so no, it's three birth, it's isn't three it? Three birth, yeah. And like Alison's. It says it's um, two, it says it's on here. It says two birth. Two birth, yeah. Three seat belts. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's right, so yeah. 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 So this makes up into a double bed, doesn't it? Obviously. Yeah. I'm not quite yeah. sure how, but. Well, the. That, that pulls out. Yeah, that pulls out. That pushed forward, wasn't it? Then how'd you get out the door and at the night? Well, then yeah, yeah. You've got a huge drop then to the floor if you're in bed and you need to get out with the dogs. Yeah. Which we never do need to do. No, of course we don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, the door open here. But really nice auto trail lockers. It's in con good condition because it's yeah. 13. Yeah, 2013. They yeah. they do seem to hold their condition very well. A little bit. I mean, the colour's a bit dated, isn't it? A bit dark wood. But yeah, you've got reasonable fridge here, which I think opens the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. I know. We're going to have to watch it soon because it's getting up to 11 o'clock. There's your TV cupboard. Bit of hanging space, not too bad. Obviously, you've got the door to the mm. to the washroom, a rear washroom. So this is the whole of the back of the van is given over to the washroom. I think the that's come off its slider there. Yeah, that's right. It pulls out to there, and I think then you you do something with this. Not sure what, but that's yeah. I mean. We're just saying, uh, getting out the door, you know, Table the dogs. at the back. I don't think you can, that aids the bed. I think this just pulls out and that's yeah. the bed. Yeah. That's, yeah. If it's only a two berth, that could be a dog, isn't it? Just about, yeah, because that would drop down. But yeah. you've got both seats here swivel, don't they, so? Yeah. 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 It's not it's bad nice. layout, yeah. is it? No, I quite like this one. Yeah. Obviously, you, <laughs> doors at the back are a bit pointless, really, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be getting out, in and out through the toilet. Well, you... Has it got <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's, the, it's the van, isn't yeah, it? I yeah, so. So, not, yeah. I yeah. It let, unlike... You let the air in, I suppose. Well, you sure. could, yeah, but it's like, unlike yours with the sofas where you're yeah. going to sit and you're going to have a nice view at the back. You're not really going to sit on the... <laughs> on the toilet <laughs> and admiring the view. No, I'm not going to open the door and sit on the... <laughs> <laughs> well, have a shower, couldn't you? <laughs> you have a shower yeah. admiring yeah. the view. If there's no one around. But yeah, wild yeah, I yeah, yeah. I suppose if the washroom is important to you, then this is quite a good layout, isn't it? Mm. Yes. And you can shut it off. Yes. And it still feels like a good living area. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And how we get on with this bed, though? Yeah, and I think that's the problem. Once you made the bed up, like I say, you've got a big drop if you need to get out in the night. And you'd have to. Um, I don't know you'd how have you to do it. Away during the day. Mm. Maybe that's the answer. You go through the back doors. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could do. You mm. could just get off the bed here and go through the back doors. Excuse me. Yeah, I've got some Rymores here and some IHs. There's actually more here than we thought there was going to be. Yeah. I didn't realise how far back it went. Yeah. Looks like a Benamar here on a Ford. Warwick Jewer. Warwick Jewer. Kempton XL. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
So I was thinking we're going to have to come back a little bit later in, in the afternoon. Yeah, it's and quite a few here. Another look. Now this is a Camerton XL, so there's an extra long wheelbase version of it. And someone's put some really grumpy tyres on there. So, mm. uh, Agilis cross climber, don't they? So they look like they've got like extra tread on. Yeah. Probably sold, I'm probably talking about this and they'll be sold, aren't it? All right, okay. So this, we're at Simpsons, incidentally. We've got a lot of motorhomes here, so. So it's more of a leisure. So we're on the IH stand oh, here so now. This is a 690 RD. Table on the side there. Flap. It's on a crafter. That's very nice. Very good. And you've got a little table at the side here. Lockers and controls up there. So you've got two doors to get in the washroom. Okay, it's very similar to our friend Trev and Sue's van here, that toilet there. Well, it's not the biggest washroom, but this, it's got everything in it. You know, cupboards, plenty of storage space, little sink, toilet roll cover, and a locker underneath. And sink with built-in drainer. That flap there. Nice cutlery drawer. More drawers below, and they just push. Everything's very solid feeling. And you've got lockers all the way around the back there. A little bit of hanging space there. Generous fridge, freezer compartment. Full cooker and grill, electric hot plate, and nice lounge, very nice lounge. Oh, that was comfortable. Yeah. TV is just behind me here. Yeah. Oh, very comfortable, these seats just sort of sink into them. Obviously, with this one, you've got a big window on the back here. Just to the outside, so there's no e exit to the outside from here. But yeah, great big sunroof here. Mm. Yeah. All your controls here. Truma on this one. I'll tell you with the sound bar. And even a little. Little cover to close it off. The catch it doesn't work. <laughs> so, oh well, that needs fixing. Yeah, it's broken off. Yeah, I'm sure, they'd fix that for you. Just noticed you've got an electric door. Yeah, which makes it a lot easier to close. I just noticed this guy oh, here. Hello. Hello. I'm standing next to a blue van. Yeah. Very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly longer than the crafter, apparently. Is it? Hmm. Mm. I, was, I was thinking it was a crafter. It's not, is it? It's a Mercedes. Mercedes yeah. 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 I, you know, I've gone in there and think, thought it was a crafter. Of course, yeah, it's a Mercedes cab, isn't it? Which yeah. is possibly a little bit darker than yours. It's, it's difficult to say in, in a different light. Yeah. Uh, the blue does look darker. No, I mean in the cab. In the cab, yeah. 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 Uh, it's sort of, if this is like the one that had on the Auto Explorer, it's sort of, you, you fit it. Oh, hello, John. You put that up. Me. And you sort yes. of pull it. A, and it sort of gives way, that's oh, it. You just push that bit up. Oh, yeah. It's easy when you know how. Eh? Yeah, mind the wasps. That's another pound I owe you. <laughs> nice, here's something different, the Euro Cruiser.
A couple of Euro cruisers here and Joa Camp at the back there. It says it can be towed with a normal car license. Okay. Well, There's a big queue to get in it. <laughs> Several steps to get up. This one's got cup holders where you can control everything without ever moving out of your yeah. chair, isn't it? Quite amazing. Yeah. So it's like a little, well, it's a static cottage really, isn't it, on wheels. Massive TV there. I think that'll do my OCD in a bit. That's not straight, that handle. <laughs> it isn't, is it? No, none of them are. Oh, good grief, they're not, are they? That's it, wreck the place. Yeah. Have a look in the pantry, son, see if it's full up with beer. You don't mess about with fixed seats, are you? Yeah. Just take your, your own home furniture with you. Yeah. Wow. I can't get into that one. Oh, that's all their private stuff. Yeah. 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 The only moto I've ever had noticed has got a pantry. Oh. You can't get in there? No, no, it's like they've got their stuff in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you just need to pull. Yeah, oh, okay, well, it's a cupboard, really. Yeah. That's got a heater unit or something underneath. Aircon? Yeah. A huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> Quite incredible. Thank you. Oh, oh God. That goes up like that. I think that's got. Oh, I don't quite know why that's so hard to put down. But there you go. And a massive fridge freezer. Oh, that's nice and cold. We'll climb in there. Freezer there. Yeah, that needs a lock on it. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. But those handles would have to be straight for me. This the well. This is you'd have to say this is a bathroom, really. But look at the size of this shower. This is enormous. size domestic size sink and, yeah toilet bed's quite low down there so no climbing into the bed is there might be easier if we come up first yeah another TV over there yeah it's quite low down I'll see it against my legs here TV there. Well, that's a nice comfy bed. Yeah, full size bed, isn't it? Full array of controls there, I don't know what they all do. But it is really a house on wheels, isn't it? There's some lockers under here. That's the fifth wheel attachment. Spare wheel in there. Loads of storage there. This is 74,995, 9.63 metres long and 2.5 wide, weighs 3,500 maximum weight, towed weight is 3,260 and its payload is 1,160. Uh, <laughs> just being so insensible. Before yeah. anyone says, Jenny put, uh, put some sun cream on and you're only supposed to use a tiny drop of it. Uh, <laughs> Not to do, yeah, that's right, don't put too much on. Five best things. Has anybody good? Don't forget this fudge, folks, whatever you do. It's very nice. Mm. Mm. That is good, isn't it? Mm. 
it's, I was expecting it to be a bit harder. Some of these can be quite hard, can they? Uh, the only one we got hard is the Scottish tablet. Okay, that's more like the Scottish tablet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hiya, you all right? Yeah, let's see. Delta Max there. Yeah, you're filming for yourself? Uh, for YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Are you a vlogger? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've been, been sent uh, one of these EcoFlow Delta Max. This one here, I think. Yeah. With a backup. Okay. Uh, by EcoFlow. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we're currently trialling it and uh, going to send us, I think, is that, that's no, not the River series, is it? That is the River series. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get one of these as well because obviously there's quite a difference in size here. Yeah, this is Jean Boyer from Energian. We are a dealer of EcoFlow based in Croydon. <laughs> Happy to provide local service. Yeah. And uh, come out to the customers if necessary. We are presenting a range of products today. Yeah. We are also exhibiting uh, at a variety of other shows. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we're here. Happy to advise you in person. See you in our office at a great show, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and thanks for. All right. The Bob, right? That yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, for featuring us. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got the uh, fixed panels as well, haven't you? We, yeah, it's not at this show, but we can yeah. supply a variety of solutions with fixed panels. Yeah. yeah. That, that okay. is quite popular. Okay. For, okay. Uh, off grid living. Yeah. And obviously you've got the the bigger one here, the Delta Max, but you'll do the Delta. Pro. We do have the Delta Pro. Pro as oh, there well. it is. There it is. Yeah. Um, that is very popular for professional use. Yeah. Video blog, uh, video operators. Such yeah. As okay. So Just off on on location somewhere. Correct. Uh, yeah. The other big application for that would be food trucks. Yeah. And um, we recently... Oh, so something like fish and chips or... Uh, yeah, fish and <laughs> chips, yeah, yeah. Uh, ice cream. Um, yeah. We had an order this week from someone who is uh, washing 200 cars a week. Oh, wow. And some of them at night, so they can't use a petrol generator. Okay. This is obviously quiet. Yeah. And, um, uh, right, portable. Yeah. There is a handle. The yeah, handle. that's right. And it's got wheels on the back, hasn't it? Correct, because this is quite heavy. This is yeah. 44 kilos. Yeah, and obviously you're going to need the handle to move that about. But if you've got a van or something, that's going to go in the back of it. Yeah, for professional use, that's, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the model of choice. Yeah. Wow. So what capacity is this one? That is 3,600 watt hours. Right, okay. And it can be expanded with up to two extra batteries to triple yeah. that. Yeah, okay. The same as the, the one we're looking at at the moment. Well, yeah, correct. that's so right. That, so that, yeah. So you can add two batteries, so you can triple the capacity. You can, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah so well. here to, to advise customers and uh, yeah. yeah, please feel free to reach okay. out. Okay, we'll so I'll, people. I'll put that on the screen so you, okay. by all means, you, are you Jean? Yes. Thank I you, Jean. Yes. Brilliant. Thanks okay, a lot. Thank okay, have a, have have a good day. Thanks, and you. And Thank you. There are an awful lot of stands here as well. So a lot going on. Bikes, and you've got Total Cooler here. Giant bottle tops. EcoFlow. Oh, I think I've lost Jenny somewhere, I don't know where she's gone. All sorts of things here. Huh. Wooden door wedges. Window wedges. Clips. Wow. That's good. I started this walks and campsites. Uh, all right, yeah. So that you, yeah. you, you, you go to a campsite a and when you get there, you can just set up, then put your boots on and take the dog yeah, look, and walk. Yeah. Yours? Um, because I found... Mm -hmm. oh, are you here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Is that right? You have to send it to me. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll see it. Thank you. Um, and, and because yeah. what I have found with so many campsites is although they say dog friendly and they might even have an exercise area, you get there and there's a dog yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's on a main road and yeah. you can't go anywhere. No, no. So I started doing research into this. It started with the first dog and ended up with the second dog. 
and um, okay. and and I managed to find a publisher who was happy to publish it, Hubble and Hattie. They do animal books. Well, that should be interesting. I have text here. They've got a mobile internet solution, dual SIM router. That's good. Ah. Yeah, I think that's our one. Looks like they're doing uh, Bluetooth batteries here as well. Oh, because there's a Jackson. Okay. Yeah. I have to say I'm really impressed with the, uh, the number of stores and uh, retailers that are here and with the number of vans there are. It's quite surprising and it, I suppose it's a, so much better than it was last year. I'm just trying to find Jenny and Alison. They've gone to the awnings and I'm not sure where they are but we'll find them in a minute. Yeah, so we're going to get some colour from this guy. He actually brings it round to you. So that's good. We've just come back to the show for a little final look round, really. We've sort of run out of awnings now, haven't we? We've run out of awnings, yeah. There's many at all, really. Yeah. 20,000 for that car over there. Yes, yeah, tow bars to tow cars. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They're similar to the ones that we've got, that they're electronically braked. And, uh, yeah, and so these, these are already fitted. converted, so if you're buying those, then you, you don't need to buy the conversion separately. So, and some of them obviously, well, most of them are used, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. That's finished? Yeah. Perfectly clear, looks like. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Perfectly well, clear, look. Yeah. Right? And just so we're not alerting up teeth, right? Let's stick some metal onto glass, shall we? Pop that there. Just leave that a second, because metal on the glass obviously takes a little time. Yeah. You do metal to metal, it could be brass, copper, aluminium, yeah. anything you want, gold yeah. if you're rich enough, right? It's also good to repair jewellery. I'll just pop that there. Give it one second while it goes, alright? We'll go on the plastic, right? Because obviously your motorhome always things will always break things in plastic. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Like I said, it's not a super glue and it's not a contact adhesive, alright? All right. Got a tiny dribble there, look, okay? Yep. I put it on there, that was super glue, it's stuck, isn't it? Yeah. And that's not like to take off it. Right. It's only when you get the oxygen. Well, you press, yeah, get it out, right? squeeze it out, yeah. yeah. You can check them, my darling. You can check them washers, alright? <laughs> it is amazing stuff. I'll just get the glue off. We say it's thing. not super glue, so it's. Uh... It's a super resin. Right, okay. It is absolutely yes. amazing stuff. Mm. All made by British, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll try and break that plastic. You'll break the plastic, but you won't break the glue. Yeah. Wow. Is it a super good price as well? No, it's a lot cheaper than you think it is, my lovely. Cheaper than the monster you buy. You know the stuff that all goes like top of it, right? But it's about 10 times stronger than the glue, 16 times stronger than the Loctite. You can see there, £3.60 for three grand, which is normal, yeah? Mm. Yeah. That's £1.20 a gram. Yeah. Still pin in there. Already open. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Doesn't go off, right? So right. you've got that. Yeah, that's good. So it doesn't clog. Plus you've got a double clo um, collar there. Yeah. Yeah. In case you want it on there. Right. So okay. that's one pound twenty a gram, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You start with ten gram there. Yeah. And that's how you find it. Right. Right. Okay. So about half the price. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you like to glue more things, you keep break breaking more things. <laughs> that's thirty grams there. Yeah. That's normally twelve grams. Yeah. yeah. But today, because we're on the show, we'll give you that for a tenner and I'll give you this for free, which is a debonga a remover. Because yeah. you've got any fingers, you close. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. I'll give you that for free as well. Right? All right. So it's five, ten, or we go with a big, big bottle, that's 15. <laughs> or we've got the 15 pound pack there, or the professional pack, which the mechanics use. Yeah. Which is a lot more glue and activated yeah. and all that. All right. It's amazing stuff. Yeah. It really is amazing stuff. Yeah. Hi, yeah. oh, Jay. Well, I can help you with any questions. Sorry. Do you want a tempo pack, yeah? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's about it for this show. I think uh, we've I was chatting to the uh, guy from DRW Electronics. He seems to be at every show. Uh, it's well worth chatting to. He's a very interesting guy. Um, but 
it's gone a lot quieter now and then we're just going to head and get some food bought a reserved sign Jenny's got there bought some glue Hello. <laughs> well, I haven't bought I haven't bought much else so. I'm one of those annoying people you know sorry I'm really sorry I thought it was a little bonus we're gonna have a quick look in this little Swift this is a Swift Bolero 612 2006 3500 uh, kilograms and it's under six meters I think it's the little one we always just look in yeah we do like a little Bolero yeah, have is. a quick look. Long way up. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Usual microwave TV here. Yeah. Twin sockets. Nice little, nice little sofa there. Yeah. This is a six meter van. I have to keep reminding myself. Great big wardrobe. That is massive. Full cooker, grill and oven. Yeah. Good size fridge and it's automatic. Auto fridge, yeah. And proper little washroom here. Decent size sink. Oh, it's hot. In here, a little cupboard. Yeah. Yeah. Square little um, shower. It's probably a little bit tight in there, but it's perfectly adequate. And there's like a little towel rail there. It's all Audi heating. There you've got hot radiator in there. And what? Keep you warm. Splashback panels. Yeah. Audi heating. Yeah, no, it's a good one to finish on. I think someone would get a real bargain here if they bought that. Did you know something was all No, I didn't. Let's have a look. Yeah, the 2006. It's only done 8,600 miles. Yeah, that would be good. Wow. I don't know how much it is, though, do you? Normally says on the window, just under 50,000. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Nice enjoying an ice cream. Out. Poppy had a little bit, didn't you? I can't give her all that. God. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd have a quick look at in the back of the Kemerton XL. So if you open the back doors, you've got the toilet. So room with a view. And there's the shower. And the wardrobe. So this is the XL version of the Kemerton. So a uh, longer sofa, basically, I think. It's very nice. Yeah, nice cupboards in there. And this one's got air conditioning on the top. Yeah, very nice. So we're going for the pies tonight. Pie and mash. Mushy peas. <laughs> so I had a bit of a problem with the leisure battery last night and as you can see I plug these in lead going out to the van out there into the into the van to charge the battery and the battery's charged up but obviously it's taken some supply out of these units so this is down from 75% to 38% now and this is down from 100% to 39% and that's been on charge for about eight or nine hours uh, but that has charged up our leisure battery and that is currently on charge again now that's 2.4 and uh, the vehicle battery the vehicle battery was fine 3.4 but what how I noticed it was I went to turn the fan I changed the fan from uh, blowing out to blowing in. I thought a fence is some fresh air coming in. And when I went to stop it, 
this light started flashing and it wouldn't change around and I when I turned around and looked at the battery uh, the battery had gone down to about 47% and dipped briefly down to about 10 volts so I noticed it was quite low, it was down about 12 volts when it was not doing anything so uh, that's what we're getting in mains wise so these have come in quite useful really for charging up the vehicle battery normally during a sunny day I shouldn't need to worry about it not quite sure what happened maybe the leisure battery is getting a bit old and tired and it was only just under three years old it should be all right or maybe the solar power is just not enough to keep it topped up I would say that we had this fan going all the lights were on in the lounge and in the bedroom and Jenny was watching the the TV so and that was on from I don't know from about half nine onwards so maybe that was enough to drain the leisure battery but these are obviously these have been absolutely invaluable for giving us some backup power but it has it does take it out of them as you can see down from 75% to 37% still enough to do my toast which is the important thing and probably the coffee as well so we'll do that Just gonna have a little moan about our new Wastemaster. The um, cap, I lost this cap here. I put it up like that and I tipped it up to empty it. And this cap, it comes off really, really easily. And like that, and it fell off. So how come it's here? And it went straight down, straight down the, the plug hole for the Elson point, because you have to empty your water in the Elson point here. So is this where we got this one from, from the top? Or? Yeah, this is that. I've taken that off over there. Jen, right. Over there. It's come off there. Right. So come back here. So I think the point is this is cheaper plastic and these things are slippy. They don't grip this as well. This was the economy model, wasn't it? Yeah, which I, I didn't I realise. I thought it was, you yeah. know, a combined set. That's right. We didn't see any other ones that uh, in Amazon that we needed. The other thing about it is that these bungee straps are incredibly tight. I normally put my waste uh, toilet cassette across there to take it to the thing, and they are really, really tight. Do you want to go back to using your old? I'm quite, I was quite happy with the old one. All that was missing was all the, the these things had broken. <laughs> and the, well, well, the, well, the wheels had fallen off. Yeah, the wheels had fallen off. Yeah, yeah and it was filthy. I've got you a new one, yeah. And apart from that, it was fine. <laughs> it's a really good one. <laughs> the other thing that's happened uh, is we've been given one of these pick, pick kit fences. Picket fences, if you say it quickly. And as you can see, it's quite large. I can't fit it under the bed. So when we're traveling, we're just gonna to have to have it in the aisle here. And uh, this is the four fence kit. And what we've done is our friend Alison has got the other four fence kits and she's gonna try it out. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how we get on with it. But as you can see, uh, that's our first impression. It is pretty large. It's probably good if you've got a garage. Uh, you could fit it in a garage, reasonably tall garage or go in there. But we've only really got the storage under the beds and it's too wide to go in there. I might, I might put it in the, in the washroom whilst we're travelling. We'll see. Right, so we're leaving the Norfolk show. It's been really good, I've enjoyed it. It's been very busy, hasn't it? There's very lots busy. of people here. And loads, I think it loads, loads a lot that. more there, wasn't right. there? There was yeah. in the end. Yeah, there's a lot more uh, trade stands and I think there were more vans to... Mm. Few dealers, wasn't there? Two or three, four, four dealers. But, uh, no, certainly had I've got plenty of footage anyway. I think we were over this side, weren't we, last time? Yeah.
So Alison's gone home and uh, we're going to Stamford, aren't we? Stamford, yeah. I'm not quite sure which way it's taken us, but I think it's taken us back by the A14, so not, not the A1. Yeah, I thought we'd go across on the A47, but I seem to remember last time that that was quite long winded. I think it is, yeah. This is a better way. Anyway, like I say, we've enjoyed the show. Um, I hope you enjoyed the footage from it, and I've still got a hill to edit, so I don't know what it's all like myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've met some uh, lovely people, haven't we? Lots yes, people yes, we have, yeah. Um, you know, our friends, Alison. Yeah. Friend Sue. Yeah, and Joe and Sheila. Joe and Sheila. Nice to have the Posh Cats gang all together, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and Rummy were, Carbon, Uno. Uno. Yeah, and bumped into a few uh, faces as well. Yeah, met lots of lovely subscribers, didn't we? At yeah. the show. Turn and right onto Deering Road, then enter the roundabout. Hmm? And met lots of subscribers at the show and round the van. Yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah, been nice. Quite a few people come to say uh, hello whilst we spotted we were leaving. And all <laughs> doing the awning, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, a shout out to the Roma Home Brothers. I think it's Trev and Bob. Yeah, who that's are right. Next to us. Yeah. Two brothers in uh, in a Roma Home. They work each in a Roma Home. Roma Home each. Yeah, the tent, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. So I don't think we're going to bore you with the journey. No. 